Hi there, welcome back to Dear Cyber Sale Advice Talk Show. I'm Susan McCourt, I'm the host. Today's topic is, now my new boyfriend just wants to be friends. So this is a letter I received from a girl recently that had been sort of dating this guy a little bit here and there, but they were sort of becoming a little bit more established. And they hadn't said they, that they were exclusive, but they were doing really well. They were sexually involved, they had compatibility, they had a chemistry, they saw each other a few times a week and then one day all of a sudden he says, you know, I think I just want to be friends. I don't know if I really feel that much chemistry towards you. So what do you do in a situation like this? Do you hang in there and hope that he changes his mind? Do you think that maybe he's just confused and so you're going to try and change his mind? What do you do in a situation like this? Well, my advice would be, if somebody turns around and tells you, after you've been intimate with them and you've had quite a bit of conversations going and all this with them, and they just decide they want to be friends, believe them. Because what's happened is, they went in too fast maybe, they thought they were ready, or they thought there was a chemistry, things change, they don't feel the same way. When someone is really, really interested, they don't want to be friends. I can tell you that much for sure. So don't sit there and try and figure out a way that you can change their mind. You're going to be hurt, obviously, because you put some time and energy into this person. But the trick is, is to know when to walk away and not waste your time with somebody who's actually been really honest and told you. Now we can be all mad about it and say, well, why didn't they know this in the beginning? Because sometimes you just aren't sure and you go along with it and you try to see if maybe you can make things go well. And sometimes they don't. But again, I've always said if you go in really fast into a relationship where you're jumping the gun on everything and you're, you're meeting all their friends, you're meeting their family, you're hanging out all the time and you've got this great sexual connection, a lot of times the only other place it goes is downhill because you've done everything so fast to get it where you want it to be that all of a sudden one little thing jumps into place that isn't really working and then you say, oh, maybe this isn't for me. And you start running in the opposite direction. And this can happen a lot with men and with women. But my advice to you, if you're dealing with this situation, is to walk away from it. Don't sit there and, and see them and try and change their mind. Maybe they'll come back later on and say, I screwed up. I shouldn't have done that. You know, can we try again or whatever? But don't sit there and be their little whenever they want to see you because, you know, maybe they'll just make it work for them and, and be buddy buddy. You don't want that. That's not what you signed up for with them. You want a relationship. So if somebody tells you they just want to be friends, believe them. Move on and find somebody who wants to be in a relationship. I know that sounds harsh, but that's just the way it is. So listen to what people tell you when you're in new relationships, because they will be, there will be things they give away, and sometimes they are showing signs before you actually hear they just want to be friends. So pay attention. Thanks everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Please check out my blogs and advice column at cybersue.com, my Facebook page at Dear Cyber Sue, and subscribe and like the video here on YouTube. Thanks everyone. Bye -bye.